By the time I was 11, I decided I wanted to go to RISD. That was the first art school I really knew about. And I found out that it was the best. So, you know, that made sense. That's what I was going to do. I went around and got a map of the school and just went to every department and, you know, every part of every department and, you know, just sort of hung around and quietly watched what was going on there. And, you know, one thing after another, it was just very, it was all too quiet for me. I needed to move more. On the very last floor of the very last building I visited, as I was going down the corridor, I heard, you know, a lot of commotion, um, including this war. There was, you know, this glass, hot glass being sort of swooped through the air and pulled and stretched and sort of, you know, um, tangled around and um, music and the furnaces were roaring. What really appealed to me is that it was, was everyone moving in concert, um, this kind of freeform choreography. And, and I love dance, so the whole thing made a lot of sense. And then there, there was this fabulous medium that was, it just had a life of its own. In fact, one of the largest single inspirations for my work has always been music, and it's, you know, it has to do with my love of dance, it has to do with my love of music, but it also probably has to do with the fact that when I hear music, it translates to color. I actually use glass thread in a way like a drawing or a painting. It's a very similar thought process to me. I think is the, the one that's really the essence of the piece. I, I couldn't work after a while. Um, you know, there were a lot of losses in the family. I would go in and I didn't want to hear any music. I just needed silence. And, and then I started working and, and I started working with red, with these shadows of, you know, dark black and amethyst and and they're really kind of portraits of people, in a, in a way, to me. And they're portraits of loss. Um, but they're also, at the same time, they're very positive. I mean, there are these brilliant, you know, rims rising out of, of kind of darkness.
I always just thought, if I make work and it's good, you know, the rest will come, it will take care of itself, but the heart of it is my work. And, you know, and that's what I have to focus on, is actually making work that means something to me.